What's London's strength? Still just 13. She doesn't have walls then, probably. Well, definitely. Alright, got those cows. Ten turns till either the fish or the crabs. I'd much rather have the crabs. Please give me the crabs. It's the only time you'll ever hear me say that. Yeah, I do want that. It's going to put off the granary for a while, but we're going to get more citizens, which is going to be better off in the long run. Actually, I don't want to upgrade you, because I'm not going to have the money to do so. So you just go on alert, Mr. Spearman. You, Composite Bowman, can go up here and just keep sniping. I want to upgrade you, because this guy has the terrain cost uh, promotion. So he's going to be a better Composite Bowman than this guy. Alright, four turns till the caravan. We'll get pretty decent economy then. Caravans will give me, I don't know, four or five gold per turn. Bucharest wants a great rider. We're not going to get that. Um, not for a while. Good. Um, 'What do I want? I'm gonna come build another quarry over here. Alert! Alert! Yeah, I. These tiles are pretty good. They're not great. Like, obviously, this is a really good tile because it gives you three hammers and three gold. This just gives you two food and two hammers. But this also doesn't give you any food, and right now I need some food. Uh, these are probably the best tiles we have right now because it gives us a lot of everything. I'm really glad that I took um, God of the Sea or whatever, the God of Fishing Boats. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the God of Fishing Boats. Although soon other civs are going to have religions. If they have a massive um, uh, faith production. Okay, look at how much damage this guy does. He does over half of the archer's damage. And he doesn't even have a barrage promotion. He has accuracy. These guys are on a hill, and he still does half of their damage. This is an archer with barrage, and he doesn't do as much damage as a composite bowman. That's how strong composite bowmen are. This guy's going to be able to kill him off, if I get a lucky one. I think I will. Oh, come on. As soon as I say that. um, You can actually use some more experience. Go kill him. Oh, well, I'm going to... Whatever. I probably did that in the wrong order. Because now I got rid of that encampment. But whatever. I think it was worth it. Because I got the experience out of here. I got a lot of culture out of here. Out of this encampment in particular. Um, and honestly, I can just send this guy over here somewhere. To, eh, it's pretty far. I'm not going to worry about that. I can, however, send him up here. Because this is kind of safe territory. If Poland's over here, this is a little less safe for me. I think I'll send him up here and just pick off units up here. Ragusa might actually like that if we killed some barbarians up here. I'm going to leave this spearman down here, though. And I'm going to move this guy over here into the city. Yeah, look at that. This guy has barrage, and that's why he, like, 77 damage. 77 out of 100. That is insane. That's why I prioritize Composite Bowman. What are we uh, working on here? We, we're going to get these horses. That's great. Seven turns till we get horses. Well, more horses. We already have two.
It's actually... Um, no, it's not. Never mind. I was gonna say it's possible that Ragusa actually um, came over here and took out this barbarian encampment, but it's still there, I think. Yeah. Okay, um, Composite Bowman, you can come over here. Alright, um, you get this promotion. Which one are you? Yeah, you're gonna come up here. You can come in here and heal. I'm gonna cut the video for a second and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, another look at this demographic screen shows that we went from first in land to fifth. Which means that we're probably one of the only civs left with only two cities. So it might be time to expand. Um, let's take a look at the tile, year, tile yields around here. Lots of food. Lots of production. Like, half of this is going to be food, half of it's going to be production. And then the only source of gold, really, we're going to have if we come out here is the sugar, the wine, and this. But those are all three tiles away, which means we'd have to buy up the tiles in between or have a lot of culture here to expand to get that. I think this would be the best place to settle, because we have a lot of resources here. Or we could just come take London, which would give us the gold, and I think she... Uh, that's probably some other city that gives her something else. But we'd get more crabs, which we could sell. Um... I don't know if settling another city is the way to go. Because right now we only have two cities where we can make units, but if we take over London and if we have sufficient happiness, we can um, annex it to our amp empire, which would allow us to build, build whatever buildings we want. Once you take a city, you have the option to puppet it or annex it or raise it to the ground. We're not going to raise it to the ground because we want it. Um, also, it's a capital city, and you can't raise capital cities. If you puppet it, it doesn't take up as much happiness. But you can't choose what to build in here. And if you annex it to your city, it takes a lot of happiness, but you can choose what to build. We're going to want a courthouse, for sure. Which we'll have by then. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um... I did notice, however, that we are now second in soldiers. We went from last to second. So we're going to have a pretty big army once we get it rolling out here. I don't think there's going to be much she can do about it. Because she's not going to have galleuses for a while. So we don't even really have to bother with her triremes. We don't have to worry about them. I am going to want to make some more archers, or more composite bowmen, and some more spearmen. And then we can march on London. Oh, Bucharest cancelled a quest. I don't know what it was. It doesn't matter, though. Alright, next turn. One turn we'll have a caravan. Um... I don't know where I'm going to send it. Okay, this is a measure of production. Um, we're right in the middle. We have more than Elizabeth. We have more than double what Elizabeth has. And we're just a little bit behind uh, whoever this is. So that's really good. Um, I don't know what to build here. Let's take a look at where we can send the caravan. Alright, Trade Rats. This is a cool city. Or, a cool city. Um, a cool screen. It shows you what which of your cities you can send stuff to. So we could send food over here. 
Which would be useful, except for right now we're much more concerned about gold. And then it shows us a list of what, what cities um, from other civilizations or from city-states we can send stuff to. Or get stuff from, rather. So we could send stuff... We could... Okay. This top part with the arrow pointing left shows you what you get. And this arrow pointing right shows what they get. Um, we wouldn't be giving up one gold per turn. They'd just magically be getting it. So we'd get three gold out of it. And Antwerp would get one. Also with Ragusa. Bucharest and Cahokia are a little bit closer. And they have um, different resources. I haven't really... Um, tried to figure out exactly how this is calculated, but it's a measure of what resources you have that they don't, and I think how far away they are as well. Maybe. Um, so Bucharest and Cahokia have different resources, and we'd be getting less gold. Um, Ragusa wants a trade route, but it's a little bit dangerous because of the, these barbarians here. Although, granted, they're going to be much more concerned with attacking Ragusa. Um. But we'll get the immediate benefit of the gold per turn right away. It's risky. It's really risky. Especially since we don't have the archer up there already to start dealing with them. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I, I need the gold. It's risky, but I need gold. Maybe you do give up one gold to do that. I didn't think so, but maybe you do. Alright, alert. Okay, Bucharest is not super angry with us right now. They're afraid. Can we get tribute from them? We could get some gold. Is it worth doing? I need gold. It might be. That is tempting. That's very tempting. I don't typically do that because people don't like it when you do that. But I might demand tribute. Library, spearmint, spearmint. We'll just take London, then build up libraries and stuff. I'm gonna do it. Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> They're not happy. Yeah. Well, thanks for the gold. Ooh, she's not gonna be happy. Guarded. Yeah. Although she doesn't think we're warmonger anymore. That might be because she's getting ready to oh, declare you. on us. Do I have anything that you want? Do you want my gems? I don't want to give you my gems. Would, would you give me anything? Of course not. Uh, they would actually give us some gold per turn. But I don't want to give them the gems. Because uh, we're about to grow in both of these cities, and that would take us to negative happiness. Oh, um, yeah. And you can uh, go up on this hill. You're fortified. Okay. Let's see if Elizabeth says anything. Yep. No, I, I realized that they are under your protection, but I really don't care. Do not provoke me further. Um, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I don't normally do this ever. I like to play very diplomatically, but I, I just kind of want to be a dick, so. Okay, it grew. 
It's a size three. What tiles are we working here? Um, I think it's worth it to get the granary up. I'm not gonna try doing the math. We could steal another worker. Oh my goodness. They're just asking for it. <laughs> I never do this sort of thing. But we could improve these cows if we steal the worker. Oh, this is too good. Um, this might come back to bite me in the ass, but I'm going to do it. See you later. <laughs> oh, man. Make peace. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, now they think we're a warmonger. Definitely. This is too funny. <clears throat> uh, just in case. I'm gonna set him there. And you can go in the city. I think the next social policy we're get, we get, that's not it, we're gonna pick up oligarchy so we can keep some ranged units in here, in the cities, so that they're not eating up our gold per turn. And, um, and then we'll continue going down honor. Alright. Next turn. Great library has finally been built. <laughs> Stop it. Go away. Oh, she's going to be so angry at us. And once we meet whoever this is, Poland or whoever, we're going to have to stop um, being such dicks. Because it's okay if one city or if one civ hates us, but to have two hate us and on both sides of our empire, that's not good. Um, so once we meet them, we could denounce Elizabeth maybe, which of course oh, means... It's you. It means that we're going to take a diplomatic hit, a massive one, with her. Because we're basically saying she can't be trusted, when in reality it's us that can't be trusted. But they might catch on to that and not like Elizabeth as much as us. Which is good for right now. I mean, eventually we're going to go over there and kick their ass anyway, so... Um, it won't matter in the long run. Yeah. I'm okay with that. We're growing at a decent enough rate. Um. Oh, that's not... Oh, I thought that was the Spearman. Oh, well. I wanted the worker to come out here and start working these cows. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's funny. Honestly, they might give me a really hard time um, if I'm walking my troops through their territory. They might actually declare war on me, so I might have to take out Bucharest, which would not be ideal. Again, I don't remember how city-states declaring war works, or even if they still do it. They changed a lot of things in Brave New World. That might have been something they changed. How did... We just had one gold per turn. How did we get... Oh, because, duh, we're working this, uh, gem. Um, actually, just right there. Worker. Uh, what does it want us to do? Build farms? Um, no, that might be the next one I'd work up here, but we're gonna start improving down here. Yeah, we lost a turn there, because I moved the unit up here instead. Ooh. 
Whoops. All right, another spearman. Fantastic. Let's see. Demographics. We have the most soldiers in the world. I don't know where Elizabeth is, but she's not second because we just took first place with that spearman and she was not first, so she's not first or second. She's probably around the average because this is bringing the average way down. We're bringing it way up. So there's probably several right around here. She's last in production. And we're first in gold. How? We're only making four per turn. This is pretty bad gold per turn. Hmm. Interesting. Um... We've got, what, two spearmen now? Two spearmen and a warrior. I want another composite bowman, and then we'll be able to start cranking out some catapults. We're going to lose some units in here. I hate to say it. But there's really no way around that. It's just really defensible. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I would really prefer anything but that. Um, but we could get this guy some uh, some more experience up here by fighting some barbarians. So let's do that. Oh, she's denounced us. Oh no. Um, that's not an issue because no one else knows who we are. Oh wait, we how did we uh oh cuz we had the trade route with them. Mathematics is the gate and key to the sciences. Okay, catapults. Siege units, they do um like 200% damage to cities or something. So they're really good against cities, but like I said before, they have to set up, which is kind of a drawback. Courthouses um get rid of extra unhappiness from taking over a city. So I was talking earlier about how you could annex or puppet. Uh these cities are going to have a lot of unhappiness already just because oh uh, just because it's not my city and I took it over so there's unhappiness for me occupying the city courthouses get rid of that and then it opens up the hanging gardens which requires tradition which we have but which a lot of people probably take a lot of the AIs try to go tradition and they really prioritize the hanging gardens because it's a pretty good wonder it gives you a lot of food in a city. Okay, so I was wondering how I got any influence with Ragusa. It's because I had the trade route up here, which gave me a lot of influence with them, like 40 or something. So they're friends with us, which gives us some food in the capital, which is helpful. Um, and we're going to come kill some um, barbarians, so we might get some more influence out of that. Actually, there's... there are no barbarians up here. Okay. Um... Right, then I guess you can just come back... Oh, no, you're already in. I'm just gonna upgrade you. I'm gonna take out this encampment then, so I don't have to worry about barbarians spawning and taking my caravan. What do we want? <laughs> Philosophy for the National College. We want some more science now. Actually, um, I want to go philosophy... No. Do, uh... Should I beeline civil service? Mm, 
National College. National College and the Civil Service. Because we're falling behind on our science. Not by much, but it's just going to snowball. Uh, well... We're not actually. National College isn't as much of a priority, then. We'll get Trapping, which gives us a circus. Um, actually, we'll have a circus in both cities. Because we have, we'll have horses in both cities. Right? Maybe? Yeah. Um, drama and poetry. I really like the Parthenon Wonder, to be honest. But this isn't a cultural game. Let's go, um, trapping horseback riding, then civil service. Because none of this stuff is a priority. Actually, we could even do um, horseback riding, currency, civil service. Because these are all texts that we need for civil service anyway. And I think I'd rather have currency than drama and poetry. Because I'm not going to go for the Parthenon. <clears throat> Has he moved? Yes. Okay, next turn. pasture. Elizabeth's probably actually going to declare war on us soon. Yeah, a religion. We're very far from a religion. Very far. Um, this would concern me if we weren't going to take out half its health right away. And honestly, I'd rather Elizabeth declare war on me than have to go declare on her. Ragusa, now we're allies, which is great. It gives us lots of food in the capital, and it gives us some food in our other cities as well. Um, yeah, if she declares war on me, she'll get a diplomatic relations hit with everyone else that she's met. They'll think she's a little bit of a, war, a warmonger. And I'll definitely be able to defend, because I have lots of troops over here, and this is where she's going to attack. Because it's where it's uh, it's closest to her. So I'm going to stick that over here. I'm actually going to bring this warrior back, so that I can move that spearman right here. Oh, we are pretty firmly allies with them. That gave them, gave us a lot of influence over them. Yeah. 80 out of 60. It'll drop, my influence with them will drop by 2 per turn, so it gives us, I guess, only 10 turns of an alliance. Um, but still, that means we get vision of them, which is very good, and we get lots of food. And if they improve these furs, they need trapping. I don't think they have trapping. If they improve these furs, then we get the furs. Um, if they improve the iron, they do have improved iron. Oh, we, uh, we have their iron. Um, okay, it looks like it's going to start kind of coming out this way. It'll probably pick up these sheep, right? One, two, three, yeah, it'll get these sheep, and then maybe it'll notice, hey, there's iron over here, and want to come get that. It's not worth it to buy this mountain tile. It's only 65 gold, but it's 65 gold for nothing. It gives you nothing. And I wouldn't be able to buy the iron. So for now, we won't have iron units. That's okay, because we can't even build them anyway, because we don't have iron working. Okay, we could get another fishing boat out here. What's this working again? Okay, 
so this is a little bit risky. Um, well, not anymore, because there's nothing up here. There could be a barbarian that tries to come up here and steal the worker, but I think we'll be able to get him away in time before that happens. Besides, it's not like we put any production into the workers anyway, we just stole them. Um, alert. Actually, no, 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 no. Um, come over here. Stand on this worker. Keep it safe. And secret. Next turn, we'll get some culture. <clears throat> Hello, Antwerp. Nice to see ya. He's all, yeah, he's got orders. Next turn. <laughs> it certainly is a shame. Oh, she's hostile. Openly hostile. It's a shame there are some leaders in this world who have their fun by picking on the weak. Don't you agree? Well, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It is a shame. Unfortunately, you're weak. And I like to pick on the weak. get some culture out of this. We got a lot of culture. Twelve. Good. So that's a turn and a half shaved off of that. Which is good, because uh, then we're... Well, no, I'm not going to go oligarchy. I'm going to go through the honor, because we're going to declare war on her soon. I said that I wanted London by turn 100. It's probably not going to happen, just because we don't have the army that I would like to have. Um, I think once we get a couple of catapults, we're going to declare war. So may maybe by turn 125 we'll have it. Although it's going to be a long war. I once uh, played as Rome. And Rome is a really fun sieve. It's a lot of people like to start out with Rome. It's really good and it's pretty easy to get a hang of. Um, so I was playing as Rome and I had um, the Swedes nearby. And Sweden is a really interesting. I'm gonna take this. I'm I'm done farming for now. Um, Sweden's an interesting sieve, but they sometimes like to. Um, they like to make a lot of friendships because their unique ability gives them a bonus. Well, it gives them and their friend a bonus for making friendships. But they also like to um, backstab their friends. And so, it looked like Korea, who was the on the other side of um, my empire from the Swedes, was getting ready for war. So I started building up an army and I sent them over to uh, that side to defend. And then Sweden backstabbed me and brought in, like, a ton of units. It was no big deal. Um, I fought them off without losing a unit. And then I followed them back to Stockholm, which was, like, this really lush jungle area, like, nestled in the mountains with, like, rivers everywhere and, like, massive waterfalls. Like, I, I'm just imagining the waterfalls. There aren't actually waterfalls in this game. But there were, like, mountains and jungles and rivers everywhere, and it was, like, just horrible to march through there. It was terrible. And I laid siege for, like, 50 turns, and I finally took Stockholm without losing a unit, but it was hard. It was really hard. Oh good, we're friends. So they give me some happiness. Um, what do they want? Temple of Artemis. Nope, not happening. Right, so I want some catapults. I would really like for her to declare war on me, because I could just pick off units as I come in here one by one, get some experience. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Okay, circuses give you free two happiness, but you need horses or elephants. And then you can build a camp on deer, elephants, fur, and I think, um, truffles. Truffles like the mushrooms, not like the chocolates. Yeah. Um, OK. 
come on this hill. I don't actually know where this guy is going. Probably this hill. I'm gonna want this spearman on this hill. This archer. Is this a hill? Yeah. I'm gonna come this way, but I want him on this hill. Well, it'll be easier to have this one on the hill. That way, I'll have archers on these hills, which can shoot over these hills into the square if Elizabeth brings units up here. Alright, finish the granary. They're working on the sheep, which is okay. They might go for the gold next. Either the gold or the crabs. Either one, I don't care. I'm going to work on buildings in here for now. I would like more faith, but it's not going to happen for a while. I want a watermill. Um, Antwerp on salt. If whoever this is builds another city out here somewhere, I'll be able to see who it is, just by the city name. I'm just gonna bet it's Poland. And it's really bothering me, in case you couldn't tell, that I don't know who it is. And why they haven't discovered me yet, that's the strangest part. Normally they do, the AI does a lot of scouting. Not all that far. How many turns till these horses? Two. Another catapult, then another caravan, because we're starting to lose some gold. We're gonna, in uh, three turns, we're going to have negative one or zero. I don't know how much maintenance this is going to cost. It's either going to be one or two maintenance, so we'll either be down to zero or negatives. Keep building that pasture. Next turn. Come on, Elizabeth. Don't be boring. I'm still in the lead. Oh. That's an issue, actually. Um, crap. Six turns to that. Um, let's see if she'll buy. Oh, it's you. I'm listening. Our pearls. She probably won't. At least not for of the four. Of course not. There's no way to make that work. Four? Will you of give me the four? Not. Give me three? Oh god. Two. Of course not. Okay, so we're breaking even. Oh man, this is not good. Um. Uh, 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 uh. There's nothing to do. I might just chop down this forest. Um, although, no, I could make some use of him by getting a mine here and switching. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, if you chop down a forest, it gives you a one-time big production. Oh, I, I think I talked about this in a previous video. It gives you, like, a big chunk of production, but then the forest is gone. It's useful for building wonders. Or settlers. Okay, grew here. 
now they are working this jungle. Nope. Work the mine. Or the hill. We could get a farm on the hill. Which for now would only give us plus one food, but once we get civil service, it'll give us two. Civil service um, gives you one more food on tiles with fresh water. Or on farms with access to fresh water, which this has because it's on a river. That is probably more worthwhile than the production. Alright, so now we have more horses. This can now build a, um, um, a circus. And what are we working here? Two, three, four, six. Yeah, I want to get a pasture on these sheep. Alright, next turn we'll have a catapult. Hello? Oh. Yeah. We'll have a catapult. Stonehenge. Okay. I think that... Is that the first? No, the Great Library was the first one that we've seen built. And then now Stonehenge. Stonehenge gives um, some nice faith, like six faith per turn or something. It used to give a lot of culture in Vanilla Civ. But uh, in Gods and Kings they changed it to give lots of faith. Right. Um... I'm going to give you accuracy, because you're going to be setting up in this area. Well, I guess here. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so that was two maintenance. We need a caravan then. Um, oops. And we would know if there was a barbarian encampment in here. There's this one. Maybe. I don't even know if it's still there. So we might as well just send it to Antwerp, the caravan, to get more gold. Um, take a look at this. Huh. We actually could send a cargo ship to London. How does that work? Oh, from here. From here. We don't have a cargo ship in there, though. I thought that said Elundi, and that was very confusing to me. <sighs> yeah, we don't have a cargo ship in here, though. We could build one here and send it to Cahokia, but that's not all that worthwhile, I don't think. I mean, it gives us more gold. It's going to give us more gold than this caravan. Do we have any... I don't think... No, we don't have any overflow in there. Um, no, 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 no. Not a caravan. Oh, no, wait. What? Oh, okay. That was uh, a little glitch in the UI. It'll help with our gold now, so it, it's it's going to be worthwhile. So, next time, send that to Cahokia, continue building catapults, and I think next episode we go to war. Sounds like a good plan. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, let me know if this is a good idea, a bad idea, if you want to see me go to war with the world, which I'm going to. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.